you know, guys, I realize in life when you got what you need and you, uh, you know, need what you got, a lot of people is unappreciated in those areas. And I really want to hit on kids. Like, you could do everything in this world for a child. You can make sure, you know, they got everything they need plus everything they want. They don't skip a beat. They don't miss a beat. They don't go without food. They have money every day for school. You pay all the bills. They, you don't, they don't have to worry about their cell phones getting cut off. They don't have to worry about shoes. You, you know, just you just been over backwards. And I know money is not everything because I'd rather be present in my child's life than just fill her up with money. However, when you are able in those areas to give your kids what they need i notice a lot of children is unappreciative because it's always there versus i see a lot of kids that gravitates towards me that's less fortunately less fortunate and they appreciate the smallest things i do for them little girl said she was thirsty she needed some water or something. She don't have no money. Can I have a dollar? Sure. And that dollar went a long way. This, you know, just if, 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 and if you give a child a dollar that's usually getting twenty and thirty dollars, a hundred dollars at a time, they look at you like you're crazy. And I just want to bring that quick message to say that if you got a something good hold on to it whether it's a parent or a significant other whatever the case may be hold on to those good people because when they gone you suffer whether you suffer out loud or you suffer in silence you're gonna eventually suffer because you took these people for granted you didn't appreciate what you had when you had it. And it's a lot of children that's not appreciate what they have until it's gone. And I made a video about that yesterday about unappreciating things that you got while you have it. And not realizing you needed it so much when it's gone. But I just want to say to you children out there that got parents that actually care and actually can't afford to give you what you want and what you need be grateful because there's a lot of children out there that wish they had just somebody that even thought about them twice somebody that even picked them up my daughter why you always on time for school to pick me up i just be wanting to hang out but the children that's not or don't have their parents to pick them up out of school. They looking for a ride. So I'm just saying like. I said all that to say this. A lot of times. You know. We give our kids all these things. And we. Indirectly. Handicap them into thinking that. Everything should go their way. If it's not. My way is the highway. And it's damaging. If I had a second chance to have a child, if God blessed me and my husband with another child, I'd raise my child totally different than I do now. I really would. Because jumping to my daughter every beck and call, that's not where it's at. Because at the end of the day, I don't get the love and respect that I need because it's the entitlement you supposed to do this you gotta do this you better do this and then a lot of times us parents whether we want to admit it or not our children have mind control over us because we don't want to see them without we don't want to see them with less than we don't want to see them asking for uh, asking other people for things we don't want to see them feeling like they don't have what they need we want them to be able to move and go as they please that's what we want so i said that just to say appreciate the things that your parents do for you because everybody don't have it and it could come a time where you don't have it either so be thankful. I just want to bring that message to the